Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be doing what I believe is the third and, and I'm certain final version of a tutorial on the Cinema 4D Surface Deformer. Uh, the first one I did was pretty basic. It, sh it simply showed how to take one object, like an arrow like this, and have it follow along um, uh, another surface like this landscape, like this. Now this in itself is a pretty cool effect, seeing how it, it kind of molds itself to the landscape surface, but what I wondered out loud during that first tutorial was, is there a way to make uh, this object kind of move back and forth as if it were, you know, maybe following along a, a, a winding mountain road or something like that. So I figured that out, and in the second tutorial I showed how to do that. Um, but the technique that I used for that probably wasn't the greatest, and I, and I asked listeners if they had a better way. And uh, fortunately, a fellow YouTuber, YouTuber by the name of, uh, and I apologize, sir, sir, if I get this totally wrong, but I believe it's Philippe Gravel. Um, Philippe came up with a method which is much more elegant. So that's what I'm going to show you real quickly uh, in this uh, video here today. Um, so essentially, in the scene file, I've got a real basic three-point lighting setup. Uh, I've got a landscape, obviously, in here. Um, and I also have a pretty simple object here, okay, which uh, will will become an arrow, essentially, or uh, something like that that's going to follow along this landscape. Um, so the next thing, let me let me turn off a couple of things here for you, or actually show you this path. If I turn off that, so. Essentially what I did was, as I say, uh, set up a landscape, drew a really easy um, path here using a uh, um, spline, <laughs> created a spline, put that spline into a sweep nerb, made that editable to create this path. put a surface deformer into that path and then within the surface deformer drag the landscape so that's that's essentially telling this path to follow the the contours of this landscape um, and that's the technique that Philippe gave me um, and again it's way more elegant than the way that I was doing it by essentially projecting a spline downward onto the surface and then using a rail spline to try and get it to uh, conform a little bit better. So Philippe had the the awesome idea of using two separate surface deformers within this one scene. The first surface deformer was to get the path to stick to the surface of the landscape. And then, uh, like I had done before, then we use a second surface deformer to get this cube or arrow, whatever we want to call it, to follow along um, this path. So this right here is the key that Philippe came up with um, that I'm so grateful for because it's it was so much easier. This whole scene took me maybe 10 minutes to put together. So the next thing we did uh, was grab another surface deformer, put it into the cube, and uh, uh, here... It, wait a minute. Let's see. Now we need to tweak these. Whoops. Undo. Um, where did we go? Here it is. So essentially what I did is I, I took maybe four or five minutes and I tweaked these settings. Um, uh, to, to essentially get this object to how I wanted it, add a subdivision surface to smooth it out a little bit. Um, but uh, these are the settings that I really had to tweak and play around with, um, as well as deciding between UV and VU and the, the, very, you know, the three different plane options. So in tweaking these and tweaking this, I ended up with it uh, on the surface looking pretty decent. Um, next thing I did then was animate this uh, U value 
um, between 0 seconds and 90 seconds, and you'll see what happens here. It flows along. So um, obviously, if you're doing this for a real project, you will spend a lot of time setting up cameras and following the uh, object along. So now if I do a render, you can see one major flaw is that you can actually see this path. So if we turn off the path, hit render again. Oh, where'd it go? Now all we have is the, um, the object moving along the surface. So that's it. So again, in summary, the key to, the, to uh, um, this technique is using one surface deformer to project uh, this path down onto the landscape surface, using a second surface deformer to make this object follow along the, the path, which is, already, is, is you know, previously projected down onto the landscape. Um, be prepared to spend a little bit of time tweaking these numbers unless you, unlike me, unless you actually know the logic or the math behind the values, maybe you can pin, you know, hone in on these um, right away and not have to really do much tweaking. But uh, anyways, that's what I have uh, historically had to do whenever I set up one of these scenes. So if I've left anything out, I know I kind of breezed through it. Um, I had recorded this earlier and uh, had some technical issues, so I'm... Uh, uh, basically just circling back to the finished product here instead of starting this over from scratch. So hopefully you uh, got some value out of this. Um, let me know if you like it. Please uh, like, add comments, uh, follow me, uh, follow my channel. Um, thanks again. Bye.